right, so it is August 8th. I was up so late last night. I was up to like 3.30 in the morning. I just could not sleep at all. I did read some of Sadie. I recorded and uploaded a video. And that took me till about midnight, one o'clock in the morning. And then I um, intended just to read a little bit of Sadie, but I ended up really getting into it and um, read a lot more of it until I just couldn't keep my eyes open finally. So that, that just took me so late. And then um, I had a hard time waking up this morning, but I was like ready in 15 minutes and we were out the door. Um, then the kids had to get a little bit of breakfast and then we were out the door and at the school by nine o'clock well actually 8 45 so i don't know how i did it whenever there's things at the kids school like i'm but i do have to like put on makeup and like i just don't feel good if i don't you know at least try to look really nice so let me show you this i haven't worn this skirt at all yeah it's just like this simple black um like cowl neck shirt and then um just a black and white maxi skirt so yep yeah, so that's what I wore today to the back to school oh and I haven't worn these earrings in like forever I don't really wear earrings a lot when I was younger I would stretch I did the whole gauging my ears out are really large holes still the regular earrings like posts they fall right out of my ear so I can't wear them anymore so they have to be like the hooks or the rings too. These matched and so I had to wear them. I'm really digging my outfit today. I love to like dress up and have a reason to dress up. What time is it? It's like noon? Finished up prepping for my July reading wrap up. So I wanna film that while I look nice, but I do have to make lunch. I am starving. So we're gonna have egg salad sandwiches for lunch. So after I do my video, I'm going to also clean up my kitchen, but this is like the best egg salad sandwich I've ever made. I put all kinds of like spices and stuff in it. And I also haven't had tea in like forever, but uh, this is one of my new favorite teas. I really wanted to drink a lot more green tea. Um, but honestly, I don't really like green tea until blueberry. Blueberry green tea, so, so good. gets back he gets back on like a Wednesday we had talked about starting to work out again so I'm thinking that we're gonna start working out on August 26th so we're gonna try to get a plan and we have like the P90X videos we actually used to do those a long time ago and like we got fit and then I don't even know what happened I think we like went through a bout of sickness in the house and then like work and I don't know what happened but we just like quit yeah it's been really hard to like get motivated to do it again my husband and I like bounce off of each other for motivation so I want to wait till he's home to get started I'm really excited I'm nervous and I'm excited because I suck at keeping in like a routine honestly like I'm not like a workout kind of person I really don't like to do it, which sucks. Or I just wish that I really liked to go and do stuff like that. Yeah, it's a struggle for me to get motivated. So Sunday, I'm just gonna start kind of working on that and trying to get more organized and get like a set plan so I can get more productive. This summer I was trying not to be so down on myself for not being productive because it's summer, but I knew once the kids started school, like it's time for me to get back on track as well. I just wanted to update, I've been reading, I was like uploading my videos to my laptop and I was doing a little bit of my, I was doing my dailies and my game. And so I started listening to Wonder Woman Warbringer by Leigh Bardugo. I really don't like it. I really wanted to like it. And so I feel really disappointed that I didn't like it. I just didn't even remember what I like had just listened to. The dialogue, the character development, it is nothing like the characters, like Six of Crows or even Grisha Trilogy. Like the characters like, they're just not that great. Honestly, I really just like didn't care about them. I was kind of hoping something like Catwoman that was really different. And while there were different aspects for sure, I really felt like it was it was really too repetitive of the Wonder Woman movie, which I absolutely love and adore. It was basically the movie, but with a female character. So yeah, I was just really bored with it and I couldn't even connect to the characters really. I'm literally on the last portion of it. I think it's 
was actually like ready to close up, but I, I don't even remember. I don't remember anything that happened. I'm pretty much DNFing that book, but I gotta clean up all my planning stuff that's in my bed. And then I'm gonna get back into reading Sadie. And I just have to share this cover. This is Sadie without the dust jacket. And it might be really hard to see. Oh, there you go, you can actually see it. But this is like impressed into the cover and that is so cool. It's like a switchblade. Is that a switchblade? I don't know, I don't know my knives. It looks like this like, almost like a recycled kind of paper. And then when you open it, it's like bright red. So I got to page 30, I did read when we got to the school for um, the back to school orientation, we got there about 15 minutes early. So we did stand in line for about 15 minutes before they let us into the gym. I did actually read a couple pages standing in line. And I just have to show you this bookmark. I actually made this bookmark, made it out of like really random stuff. This pattern is from paper from like a card that one of my friends gave me. It's like the envelope. And then I printed out some words and stuck them on there. And then I had these little leaf stickers. They're kind of like transparent stickers. So I stuck the leaves on there. It says, so many books, so little time. But I just wanted to show you this. Like I made it and I glued it together and then I laminated it. So it's one of my favorite bookmarks ever. So what day is it? Well, it's 1239. So whatever day it was, August. 10th now, 12.39 a.m. I really wasn't gonna vlog, but literally all I've done is I've been in bed pretty much all day. I went to the grocery store, then I've pretty much been in bed all day. I've worked on my July wrap-up video, and like, it's taking me all day. This girl can ramble. So I read like a ton of books, and each book I felt like there was a lot to talk about. And so it's just made this video super, super long. I have seen other people's vlogs where they've sat like done an entire hour. I think if I ever want to grow, no one's gonna stick around that long. <laughs> so I'm gonna break it up. The plug is too far away from my bed, so I'd charge my laptop, edit for a while until the battery went down, then I'd go plug it in and then read for a little bit. And now honestly, that was like really perfect for today because I got to do kind of like both things and take a break. Cause I can't even listen to an audiobook when I'm editing a video cause I'm constantly playing back my words. Been reading Sadie. Stuff is starting to get real in this book and I'm really liking it. It's definitely a little bit more slower paced. I thought it was gonna be a lot faster paced. It's a pretty short book. It's supposed to be like a thriller, but I would say like the author's writing is phenomenal. <clears throat> I'm on page 207, 308 pages. So I have almost exactly 100 pages left. I will be finishing this tonight, despite the hour. It was really weird. Right, right as I hit the camera, I like heard a whine. I almost thought I heard someone say mom and it was really weird so I thought my son was up and even my cat like perked up and she was looking around but then I didn't hear it again my youngest son Aaron does sometimes wake up at night I really kind of want to do something about this because like this house is so much bigger than my old house like in my old house his room was only like two doors down so whenever he wake up I was always there master bedroom is like downstairs towards the back of the house and his bedroom is upstairs the front of the house I can't hear him at all unless he possibly like yells really loud. I kind of don't like that. I just figured out that Sadie has like her mission but in the process like she met a guy who was just as bad 
as um, Keith or Darren or whoever. And like, I don't know why it didn't click sooner. Like, it just occurred to me now, even though it should have occurred to me like 100 pages ago, that Sadie is almost like turning into this vigilante. Oh, my friend Tracy just texted me. I bet she's up partying tonight and wants to FaceTime. But I can't stop reading. Like, oh my god, this book is so good. I wonder if she'll be up in like an hour still. I'm gonna text her and see. Because I want to FaceTime her. It's been like forever. But like, I want to finish my book. Uh, I have to finish this book. <laughs> Okay, where's my book? I was up till, I'm sorry, I'm like eating breakfast right now too while my coffee is getting made. Um, I was up till like five o'clock in the morning last night, well, this morning. Yeah, I called my friend Tracy back and we had such a good talk. I was just like hyped up on energy and I wanted to read my book, so I read until, I'm on page 279. So I have about I have about 30 pages left of Sadie. Oh my gosh, things are starting to like click together. So I wouldn't consider this a thriller, but it's definitely like really captivating mysteries. But for now, I'm going to make up my bed. I've got some chores to do. I gotta take care of all the puppies and the kitties. Do some dishes and stuff like that. And like I think I'm gonna do a face mask because like my face is disgusting. <laughs> Rasan just shows up at her wedding to have her fulfill her deal with him and go to the night court with him. Couldn't you at least come after the wedding? Those kitties do when no one's watching. Okay, just look at this. How freaking cute is that? That is just so freaking cute. Okay, so Court Mist and Fury. Feyre like wants to be able to hone in her new fairy powers and fight against whatever is coming in Badfield, against Hyder, and like, she, I feel like she has been a badass when Tamlin first met her. I mean, she killed a fairy wolf. She also did amazing trying to rescue him and fought three of Amaranth's trials, and she can hold her own even as a human in a fairy world. And now she's a fairy and has fairy powers, and she's asking to be trained so that she can at least defend herself better. Tamlin's being an idiot and like denying her. 
and like telling her absolutely not and like trying to protect her like he's trying to protect her now more than i think he was as a human i hate when books do that even if he doesn't want her to do it like he should realize the benefits i've seen this a lot like Twilight. I feel like it's overemphasizing their need to protect somebody, but in the end they're not protecting them because they can't even defend themselves a little bit. She needs to be able to protect herself and she could have like some seriously cool powers. Wow. Tamlin's kind of an ass for a king. And Feyre is like super sweet. Like, yeah, she just gave like all of her jewelry to this fairy so that she could get her Food. But I do kind of see Tamlin's perspective, but like why does he have to why does he have to rule this like his dad? Wasn't his dad not a very good king? The curse is gone, the king is back, and uh Lucian's like, nope, not gonna speak against him. He's like, oh hi lord, not king. But now that he's like got his powers back and stuff, people aren't gonna speak out against him. I was really spoiled about what happens in the next book. Dot kind of starts seeing where things kind of went wrong if Lucian's acting like a douche. I mean, not Lucian, if Tamlin's acting like a douche. She can get in people's We're heads now? Oh. Wow, Feyre's gonna get popular with the fairies because she's kind. Oh. What? Favor just shielded herself? That's nice. Tamlin does that a lot, like where he's just like, keeps repeating her name. It's like, spit it out already, you got a stutter or something? That's actually really mean, but it's like, dude, spit it out. Guys, learn to communicate. It's all I know how to say. It's with my body. Okay, they're supposed to get married and like, they don't know how to talk to each other. They should really figure that out because uh, relationships don't work that way. I couldn't put my finger on what it is about Tamlin. He's just like really overbearing, a bit controlling. Cause he's always like telling her what to do, what not to do. And like keeping her under the watchful eye of a personal guard. And like, she has no privacy and like no freedom. That's really frustrating. It's like, she needs to talk. She wants to talk about this and you shut up and you listen, Tamlin. I'm hoping that that changes. And I don't know if that's just like, his arrogance because he's a high lord and everyone bows to him but i just finally figured out what it is about tamlin that's like rubbing me the wrong way so uh that's what it is he's like he expects submission i guess and like she's not that type of girl and she never was and she never will be at least i hope she won't be okay hold up hold up so Tamlin says, I will give you anything that you want if you stop the bond, right? Okay, apparently the whole reason, at least what Reese has told Feyre, is that what he wants is for Tamlin to join him, form an ally to like fight this war. That seems to be the only thing he doesn't have that he wants and he wants from Feyre. I know Reese likes to like play games, but is, does he really like Feyre? Is he just playing a game? Or does he want to hold on to her so he can make sure that she gets trained and her powers get trained because he knows that Tamlin probably won't train her. Which that's something else that's really frustrating about Tamlin. Like include her. You want her to be your equal, your high lady. Then you need to start treating her like one too. Like you want everyone else to respect her, but you don't respect her. Help her get into her full potential because only then can she really be respected. If she's just like his little, little sidekick, I don't see how she can command respect. Even though Reese is kind of like, he at least does tell her the truth and like fills her in on stuff and he's trying to train her and he's trying to teach her. Like all this time they're just sitting around why doesn't Tamlin try to teach her to read? At the very least, it's, I kind of like Reese better than Tamlin. Okay, something I don't understand about Reese, even through his like games that he's obviously playing, he does say things like, through the bond, I can't feel like, I wanna make sure that you're still alive. He seems kinda lonely, and I just like don't get that about his character. Like why he feels like this need to protect her. Oh, and then also it just kind of seems like he has an ulterior motive just to use her. So like maybe that's why he fears because he fears like she's the chosen one to save them from this war. That could be why. But if it's like he's starting to fall in love with her, I'm going to have probably have a problem with that because I don't really get it. Because of the circumstances surrounding their bond and like their relationship. Whoa. He basically just admitted to being raped for 50 years. 
and Maranth did that to him? That's pretty fucked up. I guess if we think Feyre and Tamlin have all these issues sleeping at night and everything like that, Reese must have a hell of a lot more issues. Oh, I feel like really bad for him. Uh, me and the kids were gonna go swimming this afternoon and have hot dogs, but I don't think that's gonna happen. That's a lot of thunder. Bart. Bart. <clears throat> yum, yum, yum. Good morning. It is August 11th now. It is Sunday and it is about 10.30 in the morning. I was pretty early today even though I wanted to sleep longer, but my son, I guess, like got hit in the face with his tablet and his nose was bleeding and he was just crying. I thought they were fighting at first. Michael came down and told me that he hurt himself and his nose was bleeding. So by then I was awake. But um, that was like 7.30 in the morning. I wish I could have got at least like another 30 minutes of undisturbed sleep. But that didn't happen. I'm one of those people like once I'm awake, I can't go back to sleep. So my mind just starts racing on like everything I need to do that day. Today is supposed to be a pretty busy day. I have like five different things I'm working on and I'm very disorganized. <laughs> Sunday, August 11th, and tomorrow is Monday. I've been meaning to do this all day, but as you can tell, we had kind of a fun day, and I was working a big, huge, significant part of the day up in my office trying to work out my schedule. I got caught up watching YouTube videos, all different kinds of things, like book recommendations, compiling a list of different video ideas. As I've said before, I'm going to take a break after this readathon and just kind of focus on some other targets that I wanted to do for my channel that I never end up getting done. I'm always so preoccupied with whatever readathon is going on, and there's like so many. Unless there's like a 24-hour readathon, then I'll, I'm totally game for that. What I meant to do all day today was talk about Sadie. Yeah, I finished reading Sadie last night and it was really good. Does it live up to the hype? I'm not 100% sure. Uh, it definitely was really good and I really thoroughly enjoyed it. At the same time, this isn't my preferred genre either. If this is your preferred genre, maybe it does. Either way, I definitely think I have to give this between like a 4.5 and 5 stars just because it was a really solid book. Solid characters. I fell in love with Sadie. This McRae who's running this podcast trying to find Sadie and find out what happened to her is retracing her steps. This is told from Sadie's perspective. It's also told from McRae's perspective. It's trying to find out what she was doing, where is she going, and trying to bring her home. The trail runs dry and that's all the information that he has and so it's all the information as the reader that you have. Really absolutely love the fact that she had a stutter. I feel like ailments like that aren't something you see a lot in literature, especially in fantasy. I think it'd be really interesting if things like like stutters or deformities and things like that were more prominent. It talked a lot about how people treated her because she had a stutter. The most common theme is that people just thought that she was stupid or there's something wrong with her. Really sad. I mean, she's a really smart girl. Unfortunately dealt a really rough hand with having an addict alcoholic for a month who had a bunch of skeezy boyfriends that always came around pretty much having to grow up way too fast looking after her little sister she loves her little sister I think that's one of my favorite things is the bond that she had with her sister since I'm pretty much estranged from my sister and we've never really been that close I really love seeing that relationship that think that's what stood out to me the most about this book is whenever you come up to a situation where she was abused the author basically leads into it but skips it entirely in terms of explaining graphically what happened which I am so thankful for. It was hard enough to read about such horrible things anyways and I just thought that that was really fantastic and made this book a lot more palatable. On another note, I was literally not even that long ago, I was saying it would be so cool to have a superhero that was an advocate for children to take care of the bad guys that hurt children. And Sadie is like, while she wasn't intending on being like a vigilante, she winds up running into somebody else unexpectedly who has hurt children. She uses a 
friend that she meets along the way to get justice for his crimes. Unfortunately, the thing I hated about this book is it leaves you on such a cliffhanger. I think this is like a book I'm going to put on my list that should have had a sequel unless a sequel does come out. Probably not. I think they're just going to leave it at that. I don't like that. Like, I want a conclusion. I want to know the answer. It's like killing me that I don't know. Good morning! It is Monday and I am getting ready to do a workout. I was originally going to wait until my husband got home work and we were going to start P90X together but he's not going to be home for like five more weeks. Today being the first day of school, getting into new routines, I decided this was a perfect time to go ahead and start a workout routine. It was kind of hard getting up this morning at six o'clock in the morning. I haven't been getting up till like at least eight for most mornings all through summers. While I'm doing that, I'm going to be listening to Truly Devious. Build energy! No, let's just get to work. Boring. I made it about 45 minutes, yay! But I am like so sore. You don't realize how out of shape you are until like you try to work out after a really long time and you're like, oh my God, I'm like so out of shape. As far as Truly Devious goes, I was like so distracted. I was like not comprehending anything. First day of school, picking up the boys from school right now. It's raining, big surprise there, but here this is the line. This is the line I have to sit in. I got in line at a really good time. It's 2.27 and they don't actually get out until 3 o'clock. But by like 2.45, this line is like almost all the way back. Then you're really waiting for a long time, but you have to keep like moving forward because the line's moving. So I like getting in line. Like if I'm going to have to sit here for 30 minutes anyways, I like to get online early, then I can just park the car and read until they get the line moving at 3 o'clock. I did bring this book while I sit in line. Get another 30 minutes of reading in, which is really nice, and I got about an hour and a half at home before I came to pick up the kids, so... I feel like I barely made a dent in this book, but I'm on page 86. Owen stepped forward within inches of blue. It signaled and the raptors with this. The reason why I wanted to read a little bit of this really quick is to show you this right at the very moment. Hold your fire. Don't fire. <laughs> anyway, here you go. I just finished this page. That's all I did. <laughs> 